Hello there, and welcome to episode 24 of Adventures in Knitting with Jen. My name is Jen, and this is my little knitting corner where I talk about what I'm making and want to make and yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> um, so welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, I hope that you are having a good weekend. If you're in Canada, it's a long weekend for many of us. So um, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, I have had a very good weekend. <laughs> um, so I usually say that I'm a teacher up north uh, when I introduce myself, which I am. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, where I where I teach is technically a fly-in community, uh, and so it's not accessible by road. In order to get here, we need to fly or take a boat, and. Um, it's about a half hour boat ride to the piece of land that's connected to uh, civilization, <laughs> I guess you could say, or a town. It's about two hours to the nearest town, half an hour by boat and an hour and a half by car. So I have a car in, they call that part that's connected, <laughs> Taxi Bay. It's basically just a big parking lot for all of the, uh, community members' cars that they drive into town. And I have one there. And I was wanting to go for a trip this weekend into town. We had Friday off, so I asked two friends if they wanted to come with me, and they were like, yes. All right, so we head out early in the morning. Boat ride, we arranged a boat ride with a co-worker, and that was fine. It was a beautiful morning. Um... I teach in an Ojibwe community, so Mino Gijigad, there's your <laughs> little language, <laughs> means beautiful day, it's a beautiful day, it's a gorgeous boat ride, we get there, and we're trying to get out onto the land, <laughs> and my friend is the first one off the boat, and she fell into the water, oh my gosh, <laughs> what a way to start our day. Oh, well, it was just going to get better after that. <laughs> um, poor thing, just soaking wet. We're all yelling, oh, no, no, you know, trying to help her. And she gets out and we finally get out. And thankfully, the two other people that were with me, they had some spare clothes for her to wear. <laughs> so she went off into the bush to change. <laughs> and um, I went to go start my car. It was dead and that was a risk that I knew was going to happen because I haven't driven it in a long time since Christmas really so it was a risk but I had had another co-worker go the week before and check it out and he had boosted it and ran it so but it didn't hold <laughs> so we we're like trying to figure out what to do but there was a vehicle parked in front of my car so I was blocked in and I couldn't um my Charger cables were really short, couldn't reach. So we had to wait, but it was the beginning of a long weekend. So lots of people were coming into town. So we just waited for a bit and somebody showed up with really long cables, charged my car. We're all getting in ready to go. And I can't move. <laughs> I can't move. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Um, we're trying to push, you know, we think we're stuck. Maybe I'm just stuck and uh, but it was like pretty flat ground i'm like my car has gotten out of you know steeper situations like what's going on we're pushing you know and I, they're like telling me to rock my car i have no idea how to do that so somebody else got in and then when somebody notices your wheels aren't moving i was like what and yeah my back two wheels weren't moving <laughs> and they're like oh are your brakes your brakes on nope um, my emergency brakes. No, I've never used them. So we, they played around with them, pushed them on and off. Nope, wheels didn't move. And so we kind of came to the realization that um, over the winter, my uh, brakes have probably seized on my back 
<laughs> um, wheels. And that meant that there was going to be no trip to town. <laughs> Thankfully, the guy that had brought us over, he waited. He was like, I'm going to wait till you, you know, leave before I go back. Uh, however, of course, there's all kinds of people coming. One of my coworkers who'd come with us, she went off and she found somebody else that we know. Um, well, I actually had taught his daughter at one time and he had just had his truck dropped off to taxi bay and she was like hey you want to go to town <laughs> he was like oh sure why not so um yeah we ended up being able to go to town and get groceries um so that was nice he spent the day had you know went had lunch at a restaurant which we don't have we have a chinese restaurant here but um other than that, we don't really have restaurants here. <laughs> so it was nice to just enjoy our day out. And yeah, we got everything we wanted. And we're heading back. And then our boat ride back, the guy who was supposed to pick us up wasn't able to anymore. So we're like, oh no, how are we going to get back to, you know, where we live? And, um... The guy that took us into town was like, well, I think I can get you on my boat. But he would brought his small boat, so it was a little sketchy. Anyways, and we all were full of groceries. We loaded in. Um, and at that time, somebody else had come, another co-worker. Um, he teaches grade one. And uh, <laughs> he had come with an empty boat, him and his wife. They were just checking their vehicle. And... Um, they were heading back empty and at first they're like oh well you know you can um come with us and i was like oh that's great but uh, our boat driver was like oh no i think it should be fine so we head out into the water we're loaded down it's getting windy <laughs> and he's looking and he's like oh no 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 this is not gonna work so he waves down the other couple and they they come over <laughs> and he asks them can you take them? And they're like, yeah, no problem. So we switched boats in the middle of the lake, <laughs> hopping over. Oh my word. What a trip. It was, it was fun though. And it all worked out. Unfortunately, my car needs work, but there's some very capable mechanics here. So I'm hopefully going to be in touch with uh, one or two of them this week and see if they can fix my car, uh, hopefully because uh, CAA does not come out this way. <laughs> so if I need to get it towed to the nearest town, it's going to cost a pretty penny and I would rather not pay that. Um, I'm here for another five weeks before we go home. So I have five weeks to get my car fixed. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was my weekend adventure. <laughs> Oh my, what a day. I feel so bad for my friend who fell in the water. Oh my goodness. But she is good sport and <laughs> she is like, it's okay, it's okay. And when we went into town, we went straight to the clothing store and <laughs> she bought a new pair of pants. And yeah, <laughs> so she was comfortable um, during our trip. Yeah, so that's my story. <laughs> the beginning of a weekend. And yeah, so I think that's <laughs> all right. Where was I? I had a knock at my door. <laughs> um, I don't remember where I was. I was telling you about my day, my weekend. So sorry <laughs> about that. I forget where I was, what I was talking about. Um, so I'll just get right into it, I guess. What am I wearing? <laughs> My ranunculus is finished. Oh, I love it. This was so quick. I mean, six millimeter needles, it just flew. Um, and yeah, it's so soft and cozy. I held it this um, mohair and this is Meta, uh, um, sorry, <laughs> Ugh, I gotta get my train of thought back. This is 
wool, llama, linen, and silk. So yeah, the combination. Um, I only used a little tiny bit. This is the second skein. Um, I only used a little tiny bit. I only had to add in for like the last like two inches of ribbing. So I have a whole, practically a whole skein left. And I have blue of the same yarn at home outside of Ottawa. And um, I want to make another ranoculus. But this time I'm going to make it cropped. This one is not cropped. This is, <laughs> I made it full length. Uh, but I think I want to make a cropped one with maybe three quarter sleeves. Then I could wear more. Yeah, but this would be lighter more could wear it longer into the spring summer than this one this one's pretty warm and cozy but not bad not bad um i don't know if i'll have a chance to wear it because the weather's getting warm but i'm hoping for a cold rainy day and then i can wear it <laughs> and yeah i love it i love it so much um the pattern and the color what else can I say about it? I really like it. It is baggy. It's really baggy, but I don't mind that. I mean, I did for 50 inches bust and I'm only 42, so um, it is bigger. My gauge was off though, so I did the 50, so it would be more like 48. Uh, I will do a closer fit one, I think, with this. This will turn into a closer fit yeah I'm gonna make a smaller size for the next one and this I have a couple skeins of this left and I packed it away already but um, when I come back in September I really want to make wool and pine has a um, like a slipper sock pattern cabled slipper sock pattern and I have the leftover wool it's woolies brown woolies from my pants that I made um and it's like acrylic and wool so there's no nylon in it so it wouldn't be the greatest for slippers but if I add the mohair that would make it really strong so I think I'm going to do green and brown slipper socks with the rest of this yeah I really feel bad that I don't remember what I was talking about before. So sorry if it's a little. <laughs> Anyways, yes, my rinoculus. I'm really pleased with it and hoping I'm going to get to wear it at least once or twice um, before the hot weather is here to stay. Um, that is the only finished object that I have today. Uh, I have lots of whips, though. I have a lot of fingering weight projects on the go, so... <laughs> um, I'll show you my blanket. So, this, I think I'm going to work and try and finish this week. Because I only have three squares left to make. And I have sewed part of it together. I had sewn it all together before in a previous episode. If you've been here for a bit, you would have seen that I had this whole side done before. <laughs> but I changed my mind because I want to do, as I mentioned before, I ran out of this light. So I have enough plenty to, yeah, I'm going to crisscross it. You can see. So this uh, I am just not able to put words together today. I am so sorry. This orange and blue one is going to go beside here and they'll be opposites. So the colors will be opposites. But yeah, it's halfway done. I have almost all the other squares already knit. I just need three more of these knit and then I'm done. So yeah, working on my mattress stitching and oh, some some of it's great and some of it's not so great, <laughs> but it's for a nine-year-old boy. He's not gonna 
care. The only thing he's going to care about is if it's soft and cozy. And it is. This yarn is Lion Brand Feels Like Butter. And oh, does it ever. It is so soft. So soft. So I think you'll like that. Um, yeah, that I have to have done before I go home. What else am I working on here? Here is my quilty. And I'm just slowly poking away on this. At least all the color work is done. Um, it's going to take a long time. <laughs> ah, five weeks. So, yeah. But I think it'll be... It's on four millimeter? Three... No, 375. So it's a pretty loose gauge, like feels pretty light. So I think I can get away with wearing it um, in the spring, summer. I'm going to do a little bit of sleeve on it, but I've tried it on, it fits. Um, it's gonna be close fitting, but that's fine. That's what I wanted. I am gonna do a full, there's, you could do a crop, but no, I'm not gonna do that cropped. I wanna be able to wear it. <laughs> Uh, regularly so yeah my quilty I don't know we'll see how much I get done <laughs> before I go home but it's just straight stockinette so it's pretty easy just to mindless knit while I'm watching TV or something so yeah that's my quilty and the other thing I'm working on is this dish towel it's Pearl Soho waffle stitch you can kind of see the pattern. It looks really neat. I was debating. I was like, oh, oops. Maybe I should just rip it out and do something else. Because this is going to take a long time. I don't know why I've done this to myself. All these. Um, and it's pretty wide. I was like, that's pretty wide for a dish towel. Like, I feel a dish towel should be like, maybe here. That long. But... What? I'm just going to push through. I'm going to do it. It'll just take me however long it takes me. This is 100% cotton um, from Hobie. And it's really soft and nice. This is little tiny baby cotton, it's called. So I'm just going to do it because, you know, I'm always knitting garments. So why not do something different that I don't normally do and make a dish cloth, <laughs> a dish towel. Might end up being a hand towel for the bathroom because it's kind of nice. Um, yeah, and my Scrappy Sunday, my Anasadora shawl, I am decreasing now, so I've started decreasing, and it's pretty big, I'm pretty happy with it, um, yeah, I am just randomly reaching in, oops, I'm showing you the wrong side. There we go. So that's halfway done. So that's a pretty good, decent, a decent size. And I already talked about the stretch in the last episode. I love the stretch that this pattern gives. So it'll be nice and cozy. Um, yeah, I'm halfway done. And I love the fringe. <laughs> So this, the thing about this shawl that's a little different is that you don't have to weave in any ends because these are the ends. So you knit two rows with each. I, I knit the green is my main color. I knit four rows with it, but you cut it each time. Every two rows you cut it so that it, you get the fringe, which I really love and makes it super easy. No weaving in ends. And a great way to use up all your scraps. I'm really pleased with this. And it's been fun to knit. And then the little twisted pattern is so easy. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So. That is everything. <laughs> I have finished the Rinoculus. So that is great. Um, but I have three fingering weight projects on the go five weeks left we'll see um 
I have plans I'm to, you know, the summer I'm like, oh, I wanted to make a fingering weight. I'll get it for a second here. This yarn here is from Essence of Autumn. Oh my gosh, like, look at that color. And it's silky linen. It's 65% silk, 35% linen called Cobblestones of Scotland. I am of Scottish heritage, so that appealed to me. Plus that brown, gorgeous. I wanted to make a, a summer top with this and a pair of shorts out of some silk that I have at home. Those were going to be my two summer projects. However, I am now thinking that is too much because they'd both be fingering weight projects. So I think this is going on the back burner and it will not happen this summer. I have, where is it? This. So I think I'm going to use this instead. Essence of Autumn again, and it is silk and linen, but it's DK. So, and this is called Pearl of Cortez and it's just gorgeous. Look at that. So I think that I will use this instead. This will be my July project <laughs> to make a summer tank with this. And then August, I want to make the So Summer Shorts by Jessie May out of um, silk that I have at home. Those shorts will just be for at home. <laughs> I will never wear them in public. They're just going to be like, make my own pajama shorts basically. Um, yeah, so that is all the knitting talk. But today, one of my friends invited a bunch of people over um, to bead. So I have look, a new whip that <laughs> I'm going to make a pair of moccasins. I'm going to try anyway. So this is the top part that I have started. Going to be a little lotus flower. I got one half almost done. I got to do the other and then she's going to teach us how to sew them all together. So that's not knitting related, but it is a work in progress and I'm excited to learn that. I've been here for seven years and I have never learned how to bead yet. So it was about time. <laughs> and then I get paranoid. I'm like, oh, I won't have enough knitting, whatever. It is what it is. It's fine. It's a project. And yeah, I'm super happy and it's lots of fun. All right. Well, that's about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Will I be able to finish all these projects in five weeks? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, the blanket will get done for sure. I don't know, that dish towel, hand towel might go into the summer. Um, and then, yeah. All right, well, <laughs> sorry for kind of being disjointed today and kind of all over the place. <laughs> um, but thank you, if you, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a good two weeks and I will see you, yeah, then. Okay, take care, bye.